going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you something a little bit unique. Now as you all know in five hours, almost five hours, we are going to be seeing footage of the Nintendo Direct for April 1st, 2015. There's of course a lot of hype about it. A lot of people have an anticipation for certain things that are crazy, certain things that are more practical. Either way, I figured, you know, I want to talk about this a little bit more. Not just about the news and the fake leaks and whatnot, but I want to just give my own opinion, my own discussion and whatnot, but why do it alone? Two is better than one, and my friends, I have somebody really special here with me. Um, introducing, well, not introducing per se, but I'm here with my dude, Relax Relax. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey. Relax. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, most of you guys know who this gentleman is, but if you don't, I mean, I, I don't mean I don't mean to you know be such a fanboy, but relax, relax. It's pretty much the fucking prophet of Smash Brothers, the fucking prophet, man. Yo, yo, you're the wise man, <laughs> the damn wise man, dude. But um, I'm alright. I get some things right. Yeah, separately. yeah. Separately, separately. No, no, no. We well, we both took an L there. You know, I, 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 I had a lot of hope, but you know, either way, the game is still cool. But um, so relax and I are going to be talking about you know everything involving the direct later on today. You know, what we expect to see, what we hope to see, and um, in general, just, you know, yap it up about it. So, um, starting off, Alax, so, like, how surprised were you, my dude, when you found out that there was actually going to be a goddamn direct <laughs> when people were, like, having these fake leaks about it in the first place? Yeah, it, was, it just seemed like fake. Like, it was like, no way, really? Come on, guys. And then, just out of nowhere, oh, we're having a direct. On April 1st, Yo, okay, man. right? Okay, yeah, okay. This is so crazy. What the, what's the fucking chance of the timing being yeah. like that, man? Like, I think it's like, I don't know, it's logical they're having one now because have they had one all year? It's kind of been, I feel like it's been quiet on Nintendo's end yeah. for a while. It's been a little while, ever since um, January 14th, you know? Is, is that yeah. a long time? I don't know, is, is that really a long, like how often, if you do remember, yeah. how often do these things happen? You know what, I think it's just because after Smash release, it was just like, you know, just like it went into like a little relapse, it's like, ooh, quiet. But, yeah, yeah. You know, it feels like a while since it's a lot of news. Definitely. Now, we're having an April marking a spring, a lot of new news, a lot of things to hype us up for summer. Uh, I've been waiting for this. Yeah, you definitely know it, man. I, um, damn, I was just, I was just kind of like, damn, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of like in a daze right now with the whole thing because what's confusing to me is that a lot of people out there do think that, oh, you know, some of the leaks are real and whatnot because they did predict the April 1st date. But, you know, I mean, I just want to clarify with you guys right now. If it comes to like the German guys, like, of course, Alex, you, I know you keep up with the leaks and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been watching them. People have been posting my Twitter. I've been keeping up with your videos, and I've yeah. been doing my own research. Like, not as bad as back in the day, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you definitely know about like like how the leaks were going, and see, some people were saying like, oh, the German leak is confirmed, or the 4chan leak before that is confirmed, and what what I think so far, I actually don't think either of them is cons um, actually um, confirmed at all. But that's just me. I, I know sometimes I. Sometimes I give off an impression like I actually do think that they're confirmed, but I actually don't because, well, first off, the German leak. Uh, if you, if you remember that the guy could, he did he deconfirmed it himself, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't. I'm very hesitant with leak ever since. Uh, what was uh, the RC Omni? Like oh, even God, then, man. I was just like I was still not even. My dude. Really, oh. My like dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we have to talk about the RC Omni thing too, man, because. Oh uh, man, I, I'm I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to ask you this in like a like a respectful way, but like, how did you know? Like, there were so many things that I felt like you were so accurate on, and the RC Omni thing, honestly, kind of blew me away the most, because, like, when the Omni thing happened, like, you didn't believe it at all, dude. Like, I was looking at your fucking Twitter, you didn't believe it. Like, you were just like, nah, I don't buy it. Even when the freaking no, video yeah. came out. <laughs> what the what? fuck? I was like, I wasn't keeping up with it. I was coming home from Toronto, I was on the bus, and people were like, yo, relax, look, and I'm like, I looked at it, I looked at the four pictures, and I'm like, no, it's not real. And I don't know, my reason for it was like, first off, like, it was just the same image put into four different places, and then he just took the same rendering, and like, okay, I know a few people who have this kind of skill in digital art, so it's definitely possible someone could do it, but I'm just very, like, skeptical, like, like you get that over time when you do these leaked things, no, so that's my whole thing. Yeah, man, you didn't seem phased by that shit at all, man, like, I was so blown away by it, and you know, I mean, of course, as everybody knows, I was excited as hell, but... Damn, man, it, it just impressed me that you kind of, like, like after the fact that when it was proven fake, I was like, holy crap, Alax was right, man. Like, <laughs> like damn, dude. So no, you had I, seen I work know. similar to that? Like, you saw shit like that happen before? What, like, leaks like that? Well, like, I mean, not like leaks like that, I guess, but you've seen oh, the potential like of, like, that? like, art like that, you know, well, visual. Um, 
I don't know, I've been on Smash Bros for a while, like earlier, I've seen people, like they've made like a fake uh, Klonoa leak, they made fake, uh, even back in the Brawl days, they made fake uh, fake images of like, who was it, Bomberman, I think it was the same, I think it was Artsy Omni who did the same one. Yeah, he so did. So I was, and like, uh, I know people, because like I, that's kind of like my school stuff, well I don't do that stuff, but I know people just through like, just like word of mouth people can do that kind of art. It's yeah. pretty impressive nonetheless, I'm not like discrediting him, I'm just like pretty skeptical as a person, so that's why. Yeah, I, I, guess, I guess we do need to clarify that too. Like, it wasn't a matter of like, like his job being bad or whatever. It was just, damn, man. I felt, I felt like, damn, you know, I, I really, really was excited about that, man. But, yeah. um, so it was really good. It was hmm? amazing. He got the lighting down, he got perfectly like, perfect, like, character art. It was really well done. Extremely well done, man. I, I couldn't believe it was like, you don't know, like, I, I did a video at one point screaming my head off in Macy's at the, <laughs> once the video, um, cause, you know, and that's one thing that you always said, too, that I made, like, a rule to follow. Like, you said to me, well, not to me specifically, but to us, like, watching your videos, like, you said uh, before, um, you know, dudes, like, if there's no gameplay footage or whatever, then, obviously, you shouldn't even be taking it seriously in the first place. And here's the thing, though, Lax. Here's the fucking thing, though, my dude. When the freaking summer of 2014 leaks happened, we didn't get any gameplay footage when the Duck Hunt thing was released. But didn't you believe that right away? Um... Oh yeah, that was that was another thing. Oh yeah, that's just what the video is playing. Like that one, I believe that one for a couple of reasons. Like a lot of people are like, nah, man. But I actually got to I got to talk to someone. What was his name? Master Link X. He used to make videos back in the day, so like I knew him from that. And uh, he told me about like the whole like it was a really like deep job. It was like some it was crazy like some mafia crap. It's like crazy. What? But I, I believed it because of uh, a couple of things. Like I saw some contradictions that like didn't hold up. People were saying, like, Ness's shirt didn't have a stripe. People yeah, were saying that. things about, like, the lines on the character select. But there was, there was a lot, because the pictures, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just have senses, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what it seemed like to me, man, because, like, I remember, you didn't, you, you like, when those leaks happened, man, like, I, I was watching your video as soon as it came out, and you were kind of just like, oh, man. Once again, sorry, guys, for the background noise. I, I don't have exactly the most prime recording environment, in terms of audio, at least, you know. But, um... Yeah, man, I remember watching your video and I was saying to myself, okay, you know, I, I remember you saying that no gameplay, no believe, but you, like, you, you just, you, you kind of you said it right when you said that you kind of sensed that it was correct because everything about those models and renders and whatnot, like, we, we were seeing, like, multiple screenshots of them and, and all that, and that just didn't kick in with the Rayman thing, man. That's why I say you're a goddamn prophet, dude. Ah, I'm you're a goddamn prophet. <laughs> oh, man, but all right. Getting off of the subject of leaks that happened a year ago, let's talk about stuff that's going down today, man. Um, what are you excited about for this direct? Like, what do you think? Uh, so what do, the what leaks, do you like, they made me pretty excited. Like, the one thing, I don't know if, like, people watch my channel, they know I want another Paper Mario. I am so mm -hmm. hyped. There was one of the, I forget which one it was, but someone said there was going to be a new Paper Mario. There was another leak uh, a couple weeks ago that said there was a thousand-year door on 3DS. I saw that. I yeah. just want another Paper Mario, so if I have that. And Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh, and Mewtwo, oh. Go, Mewtwo goes without saying. Like, of course. If we get more characters, that I'll, I'll be done. What do, what do you think the chances are of that shit? Like, what do you think the chances are that Sakurai could say, "Oh, we have Mewtwo and this motherfucker"? <laughs> like, you know, like what? What do you uh, think? Hmm. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't think they'll do it in a direct. I think they'll do Mewtwo, and then maybe. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, here's know. the thing, though, because it's you hard know, to gauge, right? Yeah, it, I think it is. Save something like that for E3. Yeah, you're right. Like that, I don't think maybe a direct would be a place to like, like reveal that they have a character coming up. And he's been saying like Mewtwo took a while, although I think that's full of shit. Like, how can one character take that long? Exactly. <laughs> you know and here's mean? the thing: like, I made this argument as well too. Like Mewtwo, he already has a move set for him. It's not like he's going to reuse the same models from like Brawl or whatever. Yeah. But I mean, Mewtwo, he already like he seemed like he kept everybody's moves from like their older games. So you know, Mewtwo's kind of already got his shit done for him. So how could it take this long? I don't get it, man. That's why I think there might be another character or something. Yeah, I don't know, I'm man. Saying. If it's not another character, new stages, new modes, something. Something. Else. It's got to be, man. I mean, I, I know I'm just being a whole fool romantic at this point. I should probably think more about, logically about it. But it's just, I don't know, man. Like, when people kind of came up with that same argument you just mentioned, like, how could it take this long? I, it just kind of took me off guard, man. I'm like saying to myself, holy crap, maybe we could get somebody else. And Alex, man, I'm telling you, dude, if we see Splatoon revealed today, oh. my dude, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my 
Yo, good. that game, it's like, good. that looks so fun. Yeah. I'm so jealous of all those people who went to Apex and could play it. Like, yeah, I'm so angry. Too. That looks so fun. Oh like, my I can't God, wait to play that. Man. Yo, that game looks so sick, dude. I mean, and I'm not even, like, a third-person shooter kind of guy. I don't know if you yeah. are. No, I'm not. I played Gears of War for a bit, but, like, that, that looks amazing. Oh. Yeah, dude. And it, it looks really colorful and whatnot, and I don't even think the Wii U has, like, a strong third-person shooter title right nah, now. Nah, not at all. This, like, mm. it's unique. That's the thing. Like, the whole swimming in the paint, that's awesome. Yo, what Yo. if they announce, like, the Inkling as a newcomer for Smash? <laughs> Yo! Oh, <laughs> my know? God, dude. And, you know, a lot of people, like, when they watch, like, and, and this kind of relates to what you just said, a lot of people, when they saw, like, me go crazy over Mewtwo, they think that it was just about Mewtwo. But it wasn't necessarily all about Mewtwo that made me lose my shit that day. Remember the big debate before the Mewtwo announcement? And uh, to take a take a guess, my dude. I, I mean, I don't mean to like mess with you or anything, but take a take. Do you, like take a guess? Remember one of the big debates that were in the Smash community at that point about Smash Four? Like, oh, this game, you know, wasn't it's, it like it's, DLC? Exactly. Mm, exactly. Like they, everyone was just like, uh. Down, uh, someone's saying downscale or something because of lag or something. Downscale? Oh, really? In the yeah. um. Yeah, man. chat. Man, I keep telling. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let me let me see if I can fix this. Let me listen to this for a sec. How's this? How's the um, stream look to you? Something about lag or something. Um, just, how's the um, stream look to you? Really? You... It, it looks okay to me, but that may just be because I'm here right now. Yeah. Um, shit. Let me see. I need to go. I need, I need to go to live streaming school or some shit. All right, now people are saying it's fine. So my bad, I think. No, no, it's it's alright. I'm just I'm just gonna look this up on my phone as well, so that way I can confirm if everything's yeah. good or not. Anything you can chop this once you put it up or something. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. Here, here I kind of run and gun raw dog it. Um. <laughs> a run and ra <laughs> run and up raw dog to the pussy. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, I just imagine like Little Mac running naked. Oh, God. Yo, man. Not... With the side B right in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, um, you, know, you know, I mean, random thing, man. Random thing, and I'm not. I'm not saying this to kiss your ass, right? I'm, I'm no, just. A, I'm just an worry. average. Like, you okay. Have, you have the hundred k subs. It's not me. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But dude, you had me fucking dying in your last. Um, show me your moves video with Pac-Man. I think I mentioned this to you on Twitter. Oh, the yeah, whole. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You know, sometimes lines like that just come out of nowhere. Just like they're just so funny, but like, you just keep them. They're not even like it's not in the script. You just go with it. I could tell. I could tell that was some some the, 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 the randomness of it, man. Like it was so <laughs> unexpected because you know your analysis videos. You usually they usually do have that random element. But this and his dick. <laughs> it's just fucking <laughs> fucking classic, bro. But okay, I mean for the most part, it seems like everybody in the stream is saying that it's alright. I mean I know some people might be having trouble. I gotta work on it, but this will be on YouTube literally right after we're done. So if yeah. you do, if you can't watch this right now, I do apologize. I do still have a lot of stuff to work on with my Twitch, but I will have this on YouTube right after. So you can guys can just go check it out there if you have problems watching it right now. Um, but a lot of people are saying it's fine, so we'll see. But, Anyways, um, um, we yeah. were on the topic of DLC and how nobody thought mm. it was like a thing. Exactly, and or that, not nobody, but people. Were, it was a big debate, and like people weren't sure that it would actually happen because Sakurai. Was like, he oh, lied, uh, basically. He I'd lied. like to have games finished to the prime, and mm -hmm. they wouldn't uh, do DLC. Yeah, man. He, he basically had lied straight to the people, because remember, he said to us that you know, DLC wasn't going to be planned at one point, right? Didn't he specifically come out saying that? Yeah. You know what I think it is? Like he, I think that would be his original intention, because he's one guy. But at the end of the day, Nintendo's a company, and they're like, yo, people want Mewtwo. People will mm -hmm. pay for DLC. Look how good Mario Kart did. So, exactly. uh, I don't know, you should do DLC. So, I don't know, it's up in the air right now. Because Mewtwo, I feel like he just wanted it because there was so much demand for him. Mm. And it was too late for him to put him into the game, so he's like, I'll just do DLC. Yeah. So, maybe it opens the chance for other characters. Yeah. And that's the, that's the thing that made me lose my shit over the Mewtwo reaction. It wasn't necessarily Mewtwo, but it was just the prospect that DLC is possible. Because... I, you, I don't know, how familiar are you with the Pokemon community on YouTube? Are you? Ah, not at all. Oh, okay, alright. So, in the Pokemon community, 
One thing that's kind of common with the Pokemon games is they, they make the games, right? Let's just say it's a new generation, seventh generation. They make like a hundred new Pokemon. They also include six or seven or maybe even sometimes eight Pokemon that are not accessible in the game by any normal conventional methods, right? Yeah. And they have them technically locked in the game. You can't access those Pokemon unless you have like a special Nintendo event pass or something like that or yeah. a DLC event that happens years later. And that's the thing. Those Pokemon, even though they're released, quote unquote, in Nintendo events later on and whatnot, they are still in the game. So even before the events happen, you can hack the game and gain access to those Pokemon without a problem. Yeah. So it's not really DLC, you know what I mean? Because they're already in there. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you know that um, Smash, of course, 3DS was dumped fully, Wii U was dumped fully, and there was a lot of interesting little tidbits found here and there, but there yeah, was not like a, you, there was never like a Mewtwo model found, or a Mewtwo moveset, or announcer, or anything like that. He no, was, so he didn't exist in the game. If anything, it's a full-on update, like, completely they're gonna add it in. I remember, I don't know, maybe, remember the 3DS? There was like, uh, they said they had like more space on the game. I forget, I don't know if you remember that. that I remember. Was really like, pretty, like, small. But I don't know for sure if it's anything. So if anything, he's gonna be added, like totally, input into the game. He's not there already. It's not like exactly uh, other fighters like Mortal Kombat where they're in the game. You just gotta yeah, buy he, them. Yeah, Mewtwo's not in there. He's literally gonna be implanted fully, and that's the crazy part to me. That's the part that made me lose my fucking mind because up until now, no one thought that it was possible for a 3DS title to have like a DLC update that massive added on through an expansion after the fact without it being installed beforehand in some way, you know? Like, he didn't exist in the game at all beforehand. And, yeah. then, a and then an update's gonna make him fully available? That means that Sakurai can literally implant any goddamn character into these games from now on. And mm. that's, the, that's the prospect that's so exciting, man. That's, what I'm, that's why I'm going crazy, because now it's not just Mewtwo that has a possibility, it's so many other characters. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. That's yeah. and the that's only thing I worry about because, mm -hmm. as we know, Sakurai is a very... He sticks to his guns when he wants something. And I feel yeah. like... Um, I don't remember when he said this, but he said... Uh, must have been an interview where he's like, we weren't sure on Mewtwo, but... And we weren't even sure we were going to add him, but like in June, people were requesting him so badly. Probably around E3, so they started trying to put him in, but they realized they wouldn't make release. So they just got the game released, and they're like, let's put him in after. So there's that. Now... With the success of DLC and the opportunity they have on, like, Wii U, I don't think they're going to skip up. Like, if they just do one character, that's going to be kind of, like, lackluster. Yeah. I don't know. I have no way to look at this. Like, we have no idea. We can know later today, but it's totally possible we'll get more than one newcomer. I know there was a leak earlier. I think you posted a video on it where it had Popo and yeah. Wolf. I don't know. I don't think that's real, but... Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it, like, at least you, you do definitely... Yet, I guess where like my hype is coming from, though, because it's there's so many opportunities now to make this game longevity like much longer. You know, like yeah. I wouldn't be mad if Sakurai released like a new, like, even if it was just one character, one new DLC character every year. You know, like, I think that would do fucking wonders for like the longevity of the game, keeping it fresh and whatnot. For sure, like that would help out so much with just yeah. This game already has so much content. I don't yeah. think. It's... They'll add characters that will only help it more. Mm -hmm. it would just and they still it. have uh, so many modes, like the tournament mode, they have that Miiverse stage, so... Um, I forget where I saw this, but people were guessing that if they're gonna put Mewtwo in, they're gonna do like a full-on update, put all that stuff in at the same time, so it's all just packed and ready to go. Yeah, dude. Just have everything set. It's, it's an exciting thing to think about, man. That's, you know, it's funny. Even though the Direct will have, obviously have a lot more stuff going for it than Smash, that, that's, of course, is probably the main focus of, like, of the whole thing. Yeah, you know? even when the game's out, that's all people care about. <laughs> it's insane. I haven't, I, I've never seen a game that could be released and like so long after. Or I mean, I've seen games like that, but you know, Smash Brothers just being one of those titles that just has that longevity where it's just still something exciting to talk about. People are still looking for it even after they release so long, you know? Mm-hmm. It's a crazy game. Smash has always been a crazy game. It Damn just, right. It's, it's insane. The fan base and just like, wow. Damn right. So um, did you hear about also Sakurai's Instagram, quote unquote, once more? Because, um, yes. Yeah. yeah, I heard about that. Uh, wasn't it fake or he 
proved it or he said it was like not real yeah exactly yeah, yeah. it was kind of that's so bizarre man like i can't trust anything on the internet today april fools like everyone's just a dick i know you can't man. trust anything there's some people that are even speculating that nintendo like i, I don't think nintendo will be capable of, i think you know what i'm talking about though right like yeah. nintendo's just gonna be like uh actually april fools nothing's being revealed goodbye like it's <laughs> oh my god i've actually shit i don't think that's possible though what, what about you Nah, I mean, I think I heard this somewhere that Japan doesn't have the same customs as they do. But then again, like, it could be Nintendo of America. So they could throw some jokes in the trailer, but I don't think the whole thing would be a joke. That would just be bad on a marketing level. Yeah, it really would be, especially since they announced it and put it out there. Like, there's yeah. no way. I, I just want to, like, help people who are watching who think that is possible. It's definitely not possible. Nintendo wouldn't yeah. do that. Even on the April Fool's Day, it, it would just look really bad, I feel. You know? mm -hmm. I mean, nah, I don't think so. They'll probably throw a few jokes in there. Like, Awada comes up. He's like, hello, April Fools. Yeah, exactly. I am just kidding. I'm just, like, not funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. But, all right, so so we definitely talked a lot about Smash. We got that. But so so what other titles are you excited about? Are you excited about Xenoblade Chronicles X? Or are you, um... you know, I've seen Xenoblade, but I don't know. Those games never appeal to me. I oh, don't, okay. and I also don't know if they're going to show, because if I remember correctly, they, uh... They were like very skeptical on showing more because they want this game to be pristine. Didn't they show it last? It was a couple directs ago, but it was still not ready. It didn't even have a date at that point. Damn. Oh, okay. So, so you know for a fact that they said that? Like they're I mean, not going to talk about sure it. Pretty sure they didn't. I don't know. I don't know for a fact that they won't talk about it. I hope they do because that game looks pretty interesting. Yeah, but, like uh, I, I never played a game, um, the Zeno, anything in the Zeno series. So you know, I, I feel like it'll be a interesting new experience. Mhm. Mm yeah. And it doesn't star like, um, what's his name? Shulk. Yeah, <laughs> that's the weirdest it's a, it's a new, I don't know if they'll show that. I hope they do because that's an interesting new title. Wii U needs them, so definitely important. Mm -hmm. Definitely. What um. about um, Yoshi's Woolly World? Because that game just like came, it was like at E3 and then disappeared for a bit. And then yeah. it's like, what's happening with that game? No, it, it looks it looks cool. Like I, I'm like like everyone knows this at this point. I, I don't like Mario titles too much, but I mean the Yoshi's Woolly World. Like it looks so unique, man. Like and to be honest, I would play it. I would actually buy that game just for the graphics. Like like that that texture, mm -hmm. the the yarn texture. I don't know. I, I love that, man. Yeah, it, I would like. I grew up with Yoshi's Story, like the one on the N64. So that's like if it was anything like that game, I'd actually be so happy. It, it, it's also really beautiful with the yarn textures and just how it all looks. Mm, yeah, it it just everything about that game is appealing. Like it's, it, and I mean the gameplay. Of course, we know it's probably going to be solid for Nintendo. So I mean, I think it'll be a good title. Yeah, I just worry that um, my friend got that uh, Kirby game. I've never played it, but he said it was pretty easy. I just worry it's going to be super easy and not have going to be very targeted towards children. And I mean, like that's Nintendo for you, but I hope it yeah. has like some sort of challenge to it. Like Kirby's Epic Yarn was like notoriously easy. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Yeah, like you said, that is kind of like a Nintendo staple. I'm, that's one thing that, you know, that's one thing that kind of turned me off of Pokemon, too. It was just, like, kind of, I mean, I know you don't really play Pokemon for, like, the, well, some people do, actually. But, I mean, most people play it, actually, no, I don't know, because competitive gameplay after you beat the game, not too many people do that, but some people do. But I just didn't, I just couldn't deal with the single-player story mode of just babying you throughout everything. You know, Pokemon's, like, the third biggest game franchise on the planet, or somewhere like that. Yeah. And yet they still giving tutorials. Oh, this is how you move. This is how you throw a Pokeball. You know, I mean, I just wish there was a way to skip that. Yeah, for real. It's like uh, that was like with Skyward Sword. Like there was just too much hold hand holding, and it was just it got annoying after some points. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, man. It, Speaking I, I, of, uh, I, sorry, if you no, want to no, continue. No, on no, 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 Speaking of like Zelda, like in April Fools, like what if they just like pull a because Anuma's was like, oh no, we're not gonna show oh, yeah. uh, Zelda. What if he pulls an April Fools? He pulls out this full trailer. Bam! Yeah. Like oh, it's coming out summer. It's like. Ah! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> no, I've actually been really excited about that title too because I didn't, I haven't really played a Zelda game after Spirit Tracks or whatever. So I mean, like that would be, that would be awesome. I mean, I'm sure everybody would want that because I, I don't know. Did they even usually on their directs they talk about how long the direct is going to be too? Like, don't they have like a projected length? Yeah, they do. Uh -huh. um, I don't think that's up yet. Usually that goes up when uh, they have like the actual video preview there. Oh yeah, definitely. So. I guess we have some time to wait until that shows up. Yeah. Because some people, I don't know, some people were saying that, oh, it's going to be an hour, but I guess they had nothing to base that off of, because... Yeah, I don't think it's anything right now. Nothing truly to base it off of. Um, 
Hopefully it's like, they usually go around 40, 50 minutes. Mm. Yeah, so something like that. So I don't think it's going to be a two hour direct. But um, so what about um, or if you had any more thoughts? on No, that? no, no, no. I'm I just saw like, you know, you pulled up the uh, Nintendo's Twitter. Yeah, I'm just wondering what if they put what new games could they pull out? Because like, we haven't heard of any new games for this year. Or there's yeah. a couple that we've heard a little of, but nothing completely new. So yeah, well, nothing like that's like really big AAA like brand. No, because they said they're not doing a Mario this year. Yeah, and Zelda apparently f what he says was true is not coming out this year. So what's going to be their big title for later in the year? Splatoon coming out in summer. What's going to be later? I don't oh. know if Star Fox is going to be able to hold that place. So yeah, that's the only thing I'm like a little perplexed about. Yeah, it is right. But I kind of got an idea in mind, man. To me, it's pretty damn obvious, but at the same time, I don't know. Pokemon, man. Pokemon. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. I mean, they usually release a Pokemon game every year now. And I made a video yeah. talking about how they didn't announce anything yet. So we're in April. Last year, they announced Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire in May. So, and then the year before that, they announced the yeah. games in... Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's, that's pretty... Well, what would they do? Would they do another like reboot of an older generation? Or do you think it's going to be something completely new? That's the question. Um, Pokemon Z. Everyone's like speculating it's going to be a Pokemon Z or whatever, which is like not going to be a reboot, but just like another expansion onto the current um, generation. I don't know, man. It's it's tough to say, but I feel like Pokemon probably is going to get some kind of announcement because yeah. that's like a big, big title, you know. And we haven't heard anything. It's basically been cold in the mainstream titles of Pokemon for a while, so they definitely probably are going to announce something like that. Yeah, for sure. Like. Yeah, they haven't done anything new. It's been... X came out a while ago, mm -hmm. so if anything, a new mainstream Pokemon game hasn't been announced for a while. So if anything, I think that's a good bet. Yeah, I think so too. We, we, sh we shall see, at least. Um, what other games is that? If, if anything, also, guys, um, give us... Because I, you know, I definitely won't be able to remember all the games that are being anticipated and speculated. So definitely keep us informed in the chat as well, too. Yeah, if you got anything like you want us to talk about, let just let us know. Definitely, because I feel like we hit a lot of the major points. We hit Smash, we hit Splatoon, we hit um, Xenoblade. Yeah. And I, I'm just really excited for those three titles, to be honest, because um, I, I I never had a Wii U or I mean, excuse me, not a Wii U. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? I never had a Wii or an Xbox 360 or a PS3. So now that I'm included in this generation of gaming, man, I'm trying to like. I'm trying to, like, mm. take advantage of these things. You know, I want to use them. So titles for the Wii U, definitely more welcomed. Oh, and by the oh, and shout out to the comments once again. I totally forgot about this. Have you ever played Fire Emblem? Uh, no, I haven't. That's Damn, like one of the, That's one of the ones I need to play. Damn, that's dude. That's on my to-do list for the next 10 years. <laughs> no, dude, it's a strategy game on top of that. I know your ass must like strategy games, man. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> seriously. Trust, like, uh, I, I got to eventually. I've got to. I, the thing is, I just don't play 3DS games because my eyes are so fucking bad. And I can't oh. deal with, like, small screen. I feel congested. Have you had an like, XL? Have you uh, ever had an XL? No, uh, I don't got money for that. <laughs> oh, damn, dude, you, you, you can't count it out there until you get an XL, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, yeah, your yeah, life's yeah, going to change. Yo, once someone gets... No, no, never mind. I keep this eSports. E I was going to say once they get emulators, but eSports. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> keep this eSports. Yeah, man, yeah. No piracy discussed here, of course. Oh, no, no, we are 100% yeah, We clean. <laughs> all right, man. Meanwhile, I got a gateway in the back. Anyways, um, <laughs> so, um, all right, yeah. But anyways, Fire Emblem, I think, is a title you'll definitely like. Um, on top of all that, you can cream pie any girl you want in that game, too. So it's awesome for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, just check it out. Yeah, speaking it's awesome. of Sp Fire Emblem, isn't there that new title, the new Fire Emblem coming out? Yeah, there's the new one that doesn't even have a title yet. And then there's yeah. Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem. Shin Megami Tensei is also a really good series. I remember, as well. like, looking, or maybe this wasn't real, but like years ago, uh, I think I saw it on IGN, so I don't know. But it yeah. was like Pokemon X Fire Emblem, and I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. I, no, I think it was Pokemon X. Um, it, it was Pokemon with something, yeah. It was like a Game Boy Advance game, do you remember? Or? Yeah, I don't know, but I feel like it was Pokemon X uh, Fire Emblem, and it's like, whoa. That was amazing. If yeah. that ever was a thing, that'd be pretty damn cool. And had like legendaries besides like the swordsman. It's like, yo, yeah, I played yeah. that. I played the hell out of that. I don't like both of those alone, but like, or not don't like, but like I don't have their courage or uh, never mind. I just don't play <laughs> Fire Emblem or Pokemon like that much. I hear you, man. Yeah, I guess it comes down to free time as well too, because yeah, yeah, that's, that's the main thing with me too. Free time is 
such a, you know, time in general is just such a valuable resource, man. I wish I could have more of it. I wish there were more hours yeah, in the back day. in the day when you had so much time to just play games, so I miss those days. Dude, what happened to those times? Yeah, what happened? It's just like work oh, now, and just yo, like when you have free time, you do like other things, like, oh. Damn, even like when I was like 15, 16, which is more recent, I, w I felt like I had way more time to do shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, Damn, yeah, man. You don't know how many games I have, like, purchased. Like, because, you know, my girlfriend works at GameStop, so she usually either gets games free or gets them at a discount. Wow, yeah. lucky. You Jeez. would think, right? I never yeah. get to play the games that she gets, man. Like, uh, it's just... No, I haven't, like, I haven't played through a game in so long. Like, that's what I do on stream. Like, when I put stream time aside, that's when, like, I go play games because it's just, like, uh, I need to play. I need to... The only thing I do play is, like, Smash because, like, I have tournaments and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Anyways, yeah. after that long, uh... Uh, what's it called? We just went off track there. Yeah, a little bit. I gotta, I gotta shout this comment out, by the way. I gotta shout this out. Mitch Potato said, Etika, under your table is probably stickier than a Splatoon war zone. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, nigga? <laughs> Yo, man, I can't deal with these comments, man. I can't. People are crazy, man. Insane. Um, Whoa. hmm. Okay, so... In terms of this direct, though, um, what are you, what are your plans for it? What are, what are you going to be doing while it's going down? Uh, probably do homework until then, and then watch it. Just like watch it out. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, and you're streaming, right? Of course, man. You know, probably you know, watch I'm gonna be. If anything. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, if anything crazy goes down, I just hope my audio settings can be right so I don't kill anyone. <laughs> I mean, but that's the thing, you know. That now that we know about the Mewtwo thing, I would really love to be amazed by this. Like, I mean, now that we're talking everything in the in the direct that we expect, one of the, like. I, I kind of want to like talk about stuff that, like I mean the crazy stuff, you know? Like yeah. it's just it's just like it's always fun to speculate the crazy stuff, just the surprises. Like that's what I always crave. Yeah, dude. And you know, I don't feel like any of the leaks that we saw, a leak list or anything, were real at all. I really don't feel like that because I think I, I think Nintendo has a great system of keeping that shit inside. You know, like they don't let it leak out in any way. I mean, I don't think a direct's ever been leaked successfully before. No, I don't think. Oh, except the. Well, I don't know for sure, but E3 last year when uh, someone knew the Mewtwo, they are, they're not Mewtwo, sorry, they knew Pac-Man, the Mii oh, yeah. Fighter, they knew uh, Palutena, yeah. they knew all of them, and they like called it before the Direct, it was like, holy, holy shit. Holy shit, oh yeah, the Palutena one especially, that one was kind of insane. Yeah, Smash 4 leaks, man, they were crazy. Oh man, so yeah, fun. yeah, they were. Yeah, so I, I guess that does count, because I was, I was thinking about Directs, but like the Smash stuff, though... But then again, you know, Smash was so hyped, so I guess there would be somebody who'd be willing to leak it, risk their jobs for that shit. Craziness. Yeah, dude. But what, other than Smash, what, do you, what surprises are you looking forward to? Man, in terms of surprises, um, like I said, the main thing that'll make me lose my shit is if a new character was put into that thing, you know? Yeah, like, um, for real. That would be just... You know, I, I, I feel... I feel so like I don't want to sound repetitive us going back into the subject, but it's so exciting to talk about, man. Like yeah, just the real. prospect of getting a new character in there. The thing is, like, you wouldn't know who it is. It's just like what? Yeah. Do you have any ideas? Like, if they do put in somebody, like, um, like I know there's people that you probably want, but who would you like speculate like using like educational guesses and whatnot? Like, what would you think? Um. Well, if they want Splatoon to be like popular, that's what I, I think. Like the inkling. That's like, what I that, think, dude. That would be such a that would be such a like a unique move set too. And I feel like oh, I don't know. I feel like it would be awesome. It would help advertise that game. People would see the inkling. What is that from? They play Splatoon. They release around the same time. That'd mm -hmm. be pretty smart. Exactly, dude. And that's the thing too. Like I remember when they first announced Splatoon, and it was just like they were talking about it. It was almost like a side title in one of the directs. Like they talked about it. They had like an interview, but it wasn't like a focus or whatever. And yeah. I feel like after that first time they showed it, people got excited. So they were like, okay, this title, you know, it's getting people's attention. Let's fucking promote it more. And um, now it's like this big juggernaut that everyone's waiting for. And so it would just make so much more sense for Sakurai to just but you know Sakurai can be stubborn in so many of his own ways you know I mean yeah. like he he has you know, I mean not not to say not to like sound you know condescending to him or anything but you know he he usually keeps his ways about him and he doesn't change him up for anything you know yeah, like that's true. so that's, it's, that's the only reason I'm not like I'm not like getting super hopeful for a, a new character but like it would be so cool oh my god man Splatoon, I think, is everybody's... Wait, wait, hold on. Um, stream chat, press 1 if you want to see uh -huh. the Inkling included in Smash in some way, you know? Because I feel like it works so well. Like, the alternate costumes could be, like, different, you know, costume variations and whatnot. Obviously, a long-range character. It, it, it could just work so well, I think. Yeah, it'd be very cool, just, like, the, the whole going into 
going into like the paint to just like slide around, like go invisible. That would be cool. So damn, cool. Man. Oh man. It'd be such an interesting strategy too. Like, yeah. uh, damn. You know, like every move that they do, like leaks paint on the ground. Mm -hmm. It sounds a little OP. So they he probably nerfed Greninja at some point just to make things more balanced. But I mean, still, it would. I think that would be a great fucking character, man. Yeah. Any other ideas for characters? Um. Can I say Ridley? <laughs> Can I say Ridley? Uh, Ridley oh, from man. the NES, that Ridley. Yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know, man. Like, right now, Splatoon, it kind of kind of like takes the spotlight because there's so many sources that got to play it. Like, even Playboy Magazine was over there, too, and they're saying oh, yeah, it's a great title. Thing. Yeah, and like Nintendo's been inviting a lot of people out, you know? They invited Game Explain guys over there. And mm -hmm. so... Like that, it's surprising because you wouldn't think that a third person shooter would kind of get this much attention on the Nintendo side of things. But it's seeming like Splatoon's going to be up there with like big titles like Advanced Warfare or some shit. I mean, not really, but I mean, I'm just like. Yeah, they're definitely trying to like promote the hell out of it. So if, I don't know. I, that's my best educational guess. But usually, educational guesses are wrong with like Masahiro Sakurai. It doesn't yeah, make sense. Exactly. Like you've said in many of your own videos, you know. The, the, we, we don't know what this man is thinking. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But, um, yeah, man, I feel like we covered a lot of these bases. Yeah. Um, in general, you know, this Nintendo Direct coming up, it's going to be exciting. There's definitely going to be some surprises that we don't expect or anticipate. And I feel like that's the greatest part. You know, Nintendo, even though there has been some leaking in the past, they're usually pretty damn solid when it comes to keeping things in the bag. So I know for a fact we're going to get surprised. But the main thing, Alax, so... How, what kind of percentage do you think that we're going to get anything from Mewtwo today? Like, what, where do you stand? Like, percent? Uh, I think we're going to get like a gameplay trailer. Yeah, I feel the a same. A gameplay, way. maybe a CG cutscene. I don't know about that because those take a while, but yeah, I feel like now's the time. And if they don't, I, I feel like they're going to do it right at the end. They're going to end it, they're going to fake end it, and uh -huh. then they're going to do it again. Damn they're like, right. oh, just kidding because it's April Fool's, so. I, have they, like have they ever started? Have they ever started to direct with a trailer? They have uh, with Little Mac. Oh, okay, yeah, right. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, yeah. so they have done that, but you, I think they would save it to the end too. Yeah, they definitely would. I'm hoping that we get a CGI scene though today, because that would just be. They, I know they would make it so amazing, man. Like I know they yeah. would. Good like, God. It's a big occasion. Mewtwo's like it would just it would really be good for the fans. I think. It would be so huge, dude. Like people. I'm really. Would just I'm it. interested to see if he's like just like. Uh, melee Mewtwo or like how he's changed that's always been a big thing of mine just like seeing how a character has changed yeah because I know in Melee he wasn't exactly like the most adept nah. character yeah he was kind of he had a, he had one of the coolest play styles in that game I have to say though yeah that's for sure like you you have to really think outside the box to be good with him yeah but PM Mewtwo of course is definitely <laughs> like oh god the things that the PM Mewtwo is capable of and he's not like an easy character to just pick up like there's so much that you have to now he's like more toned down but like he's still, I think he's still pretty good. I don't know one where I play. No one plays him. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, man. But yeah. So right now, I guess from Alax and I, you know, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Like you can expect something about Mewtwo, 100. percent That's a that's a fact. Like, do you, do you, do you agree with me, man? Or yeah, I agree. I, yeah, Mewtwo, definitely expect it. Um, Alax is saying it's going to happen at the end of the direct. I'm saying it might happen at the beginning because we already know about Mewtwo, so they're probably just going to be like, okay, fuck it. Hype right there. But so what if they do Mewtwo at the beginning and then like a new character at the end? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. Don't fuck with me, man. Don't fuck with me. I can't take this, dude. I cannot take this. Like, I'm getting so excited thinking about it just because the prospect of it. Like, like what if fucking Sakurai puts an inkling in the game? Like, it just... It's just so exciting to think about, dude. I'm, I can't take this, man. It's very, it's exciting, geez. Oh my god, because they're promoting it so hard, they're pushing it so hard. So it's like, and and then one other thing too, like I mean, what if Sakurai comes out and announces, okay, um, we only have Mewtwo, but now we have like a DLC pack which will let you add on more alternate costumes. So instead of eight, now you have twelve, and you know that'd that, be great. That would be so amazing, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, that'd just, be so cool. It would work so nicely, you know. It would. I feel like, I know his stance on DLC, like you said, was you know, oh, I don't want it to be an incomplete game when it comes out, you know, and you have to yeah. buy the pieces. But it, it's not about that necessarily. Like you know, if you keep put make the game fresh, man, keep putting shit out for it, you know. 
I, I, yeah. I had a theory where it was kind of my theory was kind of like you know Smash Brothers Four may just be the last Smash Brothers Four. It may just be the last one because you know I mean mm -hmm. they can update it so much. I know probably when a new home console comes out, like the NX or something, maybe they'll make one then yeah. for it. But like Smash this Bros only comes out once per cut uh, cycle, so it's a big deal. Mm. It's usually their system seller. Like I think for the GameCube, the top selling game was in fact uh, Melee. So. Damn. Okay, oh. yeah, that, man, yeah, so I guess this wouldn't be, like, I, but I was just thinking, you know, because, I mean, if this is the last match, then they could, I guess they could take a policy where they just constantly release new characters for it, but, I mean, I don't know, that just seems so unrealistic for me, but, mm -hmm. still, though. With Nintendo, it's always too good to be true. Damn right, dude, that's a quote. That's yeah. quote of the day right there. <laughs> Damn, man. But, all right, man, so I, I feel like we pretty much wrapped the Direct up in a, in a nutshell as much as we could. Of course, there's going to be a lot that's going to happen that we haven't covered, but you just can't guess with these things. I don't think any leaks have been accurate. So, from now, from now, uh, how how much longer do we have? It's um a couple really, hours. Like um, it's one thirty right now in my time. So, one thirty, two thirty, three thirty, four thirty, five thirty. Um, oh, okay. So we have uh, like four hours and thirty minutes exactly from this time. So, um, yeah, guys, um, Alax's channel is definitely going to be. Wait a minute. Huh? What? Is this fake? I think this is fake. Sorry, someone said um, uh, some Mewtwo hype. They're downloading the Mewtwo Spring update. Really? Wait, 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 wait. On um, Clash tournaments. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check it out. Yeah, I don't know, I'm looking at it right now. I'm skeptical. Clash tournaments. Wait, what the fuck, Smash? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What's going on here? Yeah. This looks kind of crazy. It says up faith. So I don't know if it's actually true. I don't want jump scares, so I'm turning it off. Download. Yeah. Download in the Mewtwo update. I'm going to their stream right now. I'm going to... Wait a minute. He's... Wait, what the fuck? Smash Bros. for sp Wii U Spring update. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Yo. Um. What's going on here, man? Alex, I'm confused, man. I don't know what's going on. Yo, wait a minute. He can't take up three gigabytes. Come on. Yeah, or, like, what? I mean, unless there's more than YouTube, but, I mean, still, three gigs for just a character? If that's the case? Like, I don't know. Mm. I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm guessing you registered two copies of Smash, or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I sh if I get it, I get it. Yeah, so, I was looking, you know how crazy I was looking earlier? I was looking through my emails, like, trying to see if there was anything that was going down, just to ensure that I don't miss out. And I didn't really see anything missed, so... I mean, I guess, I, I wonder how they'll do it. Maybe they'll just email us with the Mewtwo DLC code. Yeah, or it, I don't know. I wish their accounts were connected so, like, you could just log in and get it on your Wii U. Yeah. I don't think it's going to work like that, though. I know they'll give you two codes, though. That's what they said, right? Like, uh, yeah, I think it's this thing's a fake because it's not moving from 44%. I think they're just trolling. But, you know, it's the Wii U at the end of the day. So, you know, I mean, is this thing really going to download? Like, I'm going to wait here. Maybe, let's wait here and see if this shit is going to change to 45, man. Like, I, th this is just kind of bothering me right now. I mean, it's h how cruel is it that there's a fucking Nintendo Direct on April Fool's, man? It's just such a cruel fate waiting. Yo, you know what? They're probably just like, oh, you want to do fake leaks? Fine. April Fool's, fuckers. I know! Like, I mean, we, we, we both know Nintendo probably wouldn't do that shit, but... The chance is still slightly there, man. Like, I'm so yeah. bothered. I, there's so much of a chance where they can just be in the Direct and be like, oh, we are making a new Metroid game that's going to be out for a download right after the Direct. Enjoy. And then they can just come back like, ah, oh, actually, nah, nah. And so I'm thinking, like, I hope they don't do anything like that. Nintendo uh -huh. said to us that there's no joking around going on with this Direct, and I hope they keep that policy up. They better not break my heart. Because if they break my heart, I will break their dick. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> That that'd be cool, a new Metroid. That's, yeah, man. Uh, there's a lot up in the air because I don't know if I don't know if you wanted to close it out, but there's a lot up in the air about like what we're going to be seeing because there's not a lot of mainstream stuff like Smash is already out. There's not going to be a main Mario and Zelda. Apparently, is not going to come out. Yeah. And if there's a Pokemon, what else? It's a lot like left to be answered. Exactly. Like of course, there's a lot of like new stuff like Xenoblade and Splatoon. But Nintendo, I don't think they'd be the kind of people to kind of just leave their first party so lacking. On, I mean, is, is Splatoon considered first party? Or oh uh, yeah, it's first party. Yeah, but you know, Smash Brothers. I don't think that's first party though, because it's with Sora Entertainment, right? Is it? No, it should. I think it is. It should be a first part, or it's like it's a Nintendo game for sure. Yeah, first. definitely Nintendo. But 
I don't know if it's first party because I well I don't know I, I don't know but I mean you know like like you said they aren't they aren't they don't have their big juggernauts involved this year so I think this would be a great time for exposure to Samus and all that but of yeah. course obviously man if we're talking about bounty hunters then. Oh yeah. yeah, the man yeah. with the crotch. The man with the golden nipples, man. You can't, you can't forget him. Um, but Miyamoto, he deaded any hope for Captain Falcon at all. So I mean, hey. mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. Like, there's a lot up in the air. So if there's anything to be hyped about, it's just that we don't know what to be hyped about. Exactly. It's be sick. Exactly. We don't know. A lot of surprises. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do. Damn right, man. But all right, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in with us. I, I had a lot of fun. Alax, man. You know, I'm, I'm not, like, just saying this for the cameras or whatever. Thanks for coming through, man. Nah, I mean, you, you know really, what? Really Thank you for having me. It's, it's fun. Nah, like, dude, I'm, I'm this glad. Is actually, like, this is actually our first time, like, actually sitting down having a Skype call. So this is, this is like, legit, guys. Yeah, this exactly. This was This was right off the fly. I, I literally just contacted him earlier today. Like, we had been talking on Twitter beforehand, like, you know, back and forth. And I was kind of like, you know, man, we got we to gotta do something at some point. You know, my timetable has just been so crazy lately. But, I mean... Yeah. Dude, yeah, I, I'm I'm really glad you're able to come through. I I didn't even know if you would be available, but I was like, hey, fuck it, let's let's go. And thankfully, things worked out. So yeah, for sure, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, man. And you know, it's interesting talking theories about like stuff with, to you as well too, because you kind of like give a different perspective. Like I'm more of like a, I guess of like the the crazy fan <laughs> hype thing, and you kind you kind of. And you are too, actually. Like you actually have a lot of hype too. But it's just kind of. Uh, like if, if it's like yo, if there's Paper Mario or Mario Strikers, I actually will shit my pants. I'll oh really? So okay. Happy. You oh, got to get man. a camera on you then, man. You got <laughs> Mario, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh fucking yeah. Fuck my ass. Fuck on my ass, oh please. <laughs> yo, but all right, guys. Um, if you were not able to watch this stream because, you know, issues, because I'm a fucking idiot with organizing Twitch, then don't worry. This will definitely be on YouTube in a few minutes, so go there. Um, once again, Alax, thank you for coming through, man. I really do appreciate it. Ah, uh, thank you, man. Yeah, and say bye to, say bye to right, the I'll do peoples. like the, all right, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side. Take care. All right, have yourselves a damn good one. Peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. actually, I'll see you guys in, wait, wait. Because the, the direct starts at 6 p.m. That's in four hours, basically. So I'll see you guys in two hours, one hour, or two or, two or three hours. Three hours yeah. maximum. I'll see you guys then. All right. Peace. Take it easy.